opportunity to talk about, you know, some really cool astrological, fascinating subjects like animals. Had started studying birth dates and, you know, couldn't believe the accuracy. And I thought, I wonder if this works on my animals. And so fortunately, I had several that I had their birth dates. I plug it in there and I just saw the whole dynamic. Even people who want to go to, you know, the pound to find an animal, a lot of them will be turned in with birth dates or puppies okay. that, you know, look for that. Do you have their date of birth? Because a lot of them, you know, will have that in the information. Well, one of the things I had discovered is I have a friend that has, you know, struggled with epilepsy her whole life. And they decided to get a service dog. You, the way that this worked out, this service dog was actually able to start to read her seizures up to 45 minutes before she would have them. There's an alert dog, and then there's a dog who can read these seizures before they happen. Wow. And so I said to her, and this is when I was first looking at animals in astrology, do you have this dog's birthday? And she did. So I opened up the chart and sent him. Pisces, Moon in Pisces, Mercury. And that's what really triggered me to start thinking, well, we know that that is one of the gifts of the Pisces, is being able to know what happens before what happens, happens. They are the number one, you know, service dogs if you can get placements in the chart where you see Pisces or Cancer. If I could get this message out, what my message is, is to actually come alongside trainers. It takes up to two years to really train one of these dogs and really figure out what gifts it has. If somebody who has epilepsy um, gets a service dog and they cannot read the seizures before they happen, they're really not as much of, of a value to them. Yeah. If I, as an astrologer, can look at that birthday, the moment that dog's born, and I can say, this dog has the potential to do that specific talent. Then the trainer can start training from the beginning because a lot of times people with epilepsy will get one of these dogs and it won't be able to do what they need it to. Okay. So I can get in way earlier by reading the chart or teaching people how to look for this. Some of them, the whole package can run up to $30,000. Yeah. That's why but it's I so would, critical invest, to get yeah. the right dog. Now, dogs who have strong cancer signature, they're the ones who can read, if somebody has diabetes, they can read when the blood sugar's off. They can actually smell cancer. They'll start to paw, they'll start to get in your face. A lot of times the cancer dog will get up and lay on the area that they sense the sickness. It's amazing. Because what happens is your chemistry, your biochemistry changes. We can't see it. So now a Scorpio dog is going to be your police dog. Dogs that can, you know, sniff out dead bodies. The Aries also. You see the Aries in the police. What I do is I have several. I can do a video that I send to people where I do a complete analysis of how their animal views the world. And I look at it through not the way I would look through a human chart. I look at it through the eyes of a predator. Or if I'm doing a horse, I look at it through the eyes of a prey animal. You have to read the chart differently. A horse, for example, a horse is a prey animal. And a dog, cat, those are a predator. So when you're reading the chart, you see the energy through the eyes of the animal, how they see the world. Because they don't have ego like we do. They don't manipulate. They're honest. It is what it is. This is Dakota. I've had Dakota since he was born. So I was fortunate enough to know his rising sign and his whole chart. He's 23 years old this year. But it's interesting because he shares the moon in Pisces with me. And you can see in his eyes, you know, the big soft eyes. As I started studying astrology, you know, they can imagine things that are there that aren't there and overreact. Well, Aries are typically more of your aggressive type of dog. And... They're very, very athletic dogs, so they make uh, really good dogs to put into any type of competitions. Again, they make good police dogs. And they're impulsive, and they're the type of dog you have to watch from, you know, running out the door and getting hit by a car. I mean, just basic practical things. They don't sit still, lay around as easy. So they're going to, and they can be a little more aggressive. One person or one family dogs. Aries is a, is a dog that can often get cut, cuts in the head have ear problems, anything that has to do with the head. It's that impulsion. You know, they're, they're a magnet to it. Well, a Taurus dog is going to be a dog that has, that really wants the life of luxury. The great little pillowy beds and wants to or sleep on the end of the bed, loves food, and wants to go with you everywhere you go. Um, it's actually going to be a nice dog that's pretty laid back. If you don't want a hyper dog, you want to go with a dog with, you know, that's a Taurus or has a Taurus in the chart. They like to primp, very possessive over their thing. And this might be the type of dog that you just want to have one dog. Now, Gemini dogs can be a little more anxious. Okay. Here's where you have your anxiety issues. I also talk about issues with my clients that behavioral issues. This might be a dog that's chewing up the furniture when you leave. I'm having anxiety. I have a horse that has Mars and Gemini, and she's really known for chewing other horses' tails. But this is a great dog to take 
take with you. They'll get bored easy, so take them with you in the car. Take them with you on the trip, or they'll get destructive. Your cancer dog um, is going to be very moody, like to go be alone, but at the same time, they do like people. They do like to be around people, but they need those times where you'll go, where'd they go? They take in so much vibration from the whole household, and they do pick up on illnesses. They will smell cancer, diabetes. They will warn you if your blood sugar is going down. They can really read the body's chemistry. So this is a, one of the number one dogs for a service dog to have cancer, especially mooning cancer in the charts. They will the get really nuts. nervous if the family is up and down emotionally or yelling or screaming or anything like that that dog is going to be affected. Okay. A Taurus dog might be better for that, where they're just like, hey, I'm going to go take a nap, yes. figure it out. They love themselves, and they like to primp. They like to go on walks. Here's your dog that's going to be in the pictures. He has a Leo rising, and they can be aggressive now. Here we go with dogs. If you want oh, a watchdog really? or protector, they are going to take on that lion trait. They're the ones that are going to be sitting up, you know, in the, in the backyard. These are dogs that are going to actually have to watch for heart problems. It's very similar as it is in humans when we look at medical astrology. But, yeah, heart problems. Problems would be something that I would watch for back problems in a Leo. You know, the Virgo dog is actually your trick dog in the circus. You also want to keep them busy because they can be chores too. Anything with Mercury, they're going to be your more nervous dogs okay. and, you know, can again get that anxiety and their mind has to be stimulated. You know, a lot of times they take them to the vet now and they'll even put these kind of dogs on Prozac. No. Hey. Stomach problems, digestive problems, actually even eating toys and getting oh. it stuck in the stomach Ooh. because they like to play with toys. They like their little animals. They like hoarding them. More passive, maybe more insecure. Maybe this is the, the dog that, you know, um, if you have more than one dog, they'll do well with that. Who likes music. One of my horses has a moon in Libra. And out of all my horses, she is the most balanced and comfortable to ride. Whereas sometimes you ride horses that are real bumpy. No, she's like riding just a Cadillac. These are your cadaver dog. You know, 911, you know, you put those dogs out and they're sniffing out. They're going to do the hunting. You know, okay. that investigative, great police dogs can be aggressive. They can get resentful. You're not going to want to screw with the, with the Scorpio dog. They will not forget. They might have problems getting pregnant if you're breeding oh, them. Oh, These are your dogs you want to take hiking. These dogs will get out, though. They will take off and not come back. Oh, and they're kind of flighty. They're, not, they're a little more detached. So yeah. you're not going to get that dog that wants to sit on your lap. You know, that's more of your cancer dog, your Pisces okay, dog. Yeah. You're athletic. You want to take them running, camping. They want to do all of those things. Okay. These are dogs that need a lot of structure. So if you are somebody that has a very structured life and you take your little walk at 9 a.m. in the morning and you come home, this is a great dog for that type of life. They do not like it if the world is changing. They're going to be more stable, but if you are breeding dogs, these are big money maker dogs for breeding, that Capricorn energy. It just has a way of breeding. It, the lineage comes through that Capricorn dog that will make them very valued you know, very skilled dogs. They just have a way, if you're a breeder, like, uh, I made a lot of money on that litter. You know, why, why not this litter, but this litter? It's that Capricorn energy. You know what? This is a more detached animal. If you don't want that animal up in your lap all the time and you want one that just kind of hangs out, independent. Okay. But they're very highly vibrational, so they are going to be more sensitive to noise. So this is a dog, you know, that if you, it starts acting up, it could feel that earthquake before it happens. All they right. strut around. They're, they're happy little dogs. Yes. This is a yeah. very sweet dog. This, again, to me, is what I've seen in my research, the number one of the service dogs. They can be moody, though, and they can be grumpy. You know, more if you move them, they like to go and sleep. If you get up and you're moving them around and disturbing that. But typically, they're really happy. You have to be careful of illnesses because they take on so much. And they'll come into your life, like out of nowhere. I mean, a lot of times we, we don't know the birthday, but if you've had a strange happening where an animal's come into your life, suddenly is the Pisces. Yes. <laughs>